What is good YouTube? It's your boy Rocket or Rager, and today we are rocking with the all Sapphire lineup here. As you know, uh, last night 2K wiped the fucking MT glitch completely off the map, but they gave us, for the guys who have done the collections, a a um, Sapphire from each team, and they didn't actually do too bad choices. Yes, I would have preferred Gel Green. Uh, that's a good choice. Britt Beal is a very good choice. Jordan's a great choice. Hibbert's an amazing choice. Parsons potentially could have had. I would have. I don't know who I would have preferred, but probably someone. Probably Rondo, really. I would have preferred Rondo. Um, Brooke Lopez, that's a good call. Uh, there's some real good silver players. We wouldn't really want a KG. Ricky Rubio is a great choice. Maybe the only other player would be Wiggins. Luol Dang, I don't really like anyone from the Miami Heat, to be honest, but he's a, he's a good call. Jeff Green, the traded one, but he's good, good shooter, and a good dunker. Nick Batum is an awful choice for me. I I was very I was quite angry when they chose Nick Batum instead of um, Wes Matthews. Drew Holiday, we did not need Drew Holiday because we've got tons of point guards already. Like, there's four point guards and no power forwards. They really should have done a power forward. Um... And Daryl Conson also quite disappointed in that. Really would have ho hoping for a Rudy Gay. So someone they sort of fucked up a little bit. They should have had one of the teams do a power forward, but the only one I really see ha as a power forward in this team is um, DeAndre Jordan, which is why he's rocking the power forward. So yeah, we're gonna go in and play the Indiana Pacers in a um, in the match, and I'll tell you which one of these guys are any good. Good block, Roy Hibbert, straight out the bat, block someone, erasing him off the map, that's what those gold badges are really helping with. I don't actually have, because I don't really buy badges, as I find them really hard to search for on the auction, and Isaiah Thomas, pick and roll, maestro. I don't know how he doesn't have that, that's, that, that's, what, that's what he's doing, that's what I'm going to have him do for me, but volume shooter, good scorer, oh he does have pick and roll, maestro, it's just a bronze. Oh, from the corner, fucking Roy Hiberto, oh, big boy Roy, here we go, Isaiah. Splash! Oh, my big boy Roy here, but I might just rock him in my lineup over over Demarcus Cousins or Dwight Howard, depending on who I feel like rocking over, because he's a fucking monstrous rebounder. That seven-two height is deadly. Damn, but that he should be blocking that. That's 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 some cheese. Bill from the free, automatic contested, whatever you want to call it. He got fucking contested. I'd say that everything he he's just gonna splash everything for every for everyone. Because if you got 95 free pointers, that's from the highest on the game. The only person I know definitely has higher is Glenn Rice, which is 96, and uh, Steve Kerr, who not really a, a player people are gonna look for a lot, um, who has got 90. Seven for two for three. Oh, not too far off. Third, end of the first, and we are bowling 21 to seven. This team is on fire. We're gonna we're gonna check right back in. Beal, step back. Oh, Beal, step cross. I crossed up Paul George and kept stepping back, and then I eventually pulled up for the free deadly bucket from Mr. Bradley Beal. When you've got such a high standing three pointer. It just takes away the zigzag cheese. Like, if you're that good at it, zigzag cheese doesn't exist. You can just keep doing it, and it is a nice thing to be able to zigzag cheese against Paul George, who is a deadly player. Oh, pull up. Splash. DeMar DeRozan pulls up nicely. Um, I don't know if he's, if he's still injured or not um, over in Toronto, but to be honest, Toronto is still going to make the playoffs whether or not. How high their seed is, I don't. It's, it's gonna be. It could be. It's either gonna be second, or it's gonna be third, or it's gonna be fourth. There's no one knocking off the Atlanta Hawks, to be honest. Really, like they are insanely good. They have the potential to go to the NBA Finals. Whether or not they could beat a team like, um, oh fuck, so that's bad. Whether they can beat a team like Golden State or the Grizzlies or the Blazers. Um, or even the Spurs if they actually reach the finals because th their spots bet is not exactly safe. But I can they're going to make the playoffs, but it depends how far they go. Um, another team is will the OKC Thunder even make it? Because they got three teams trying to fight for that final eighth spot. Because that's the only one that's next to not guaranteed because they got you know you got Phoenix, 
re um, holding the position quite well. You got OKC on their back, you got Sacramento on the back, and you got the Pelicans right there. And obviously you got the Nuggets and the uh, Lakers, who are sort of a, sitting quite far behind. But obviously if they go on a streak, which probably is not going to happen, they could obviously make the playoffs. But that would be a very rare sight. Big boy Hibbert doing his work here, 6.9 rebounds and 3 assists. Yes, he may be getting a double, double. And just if you guys have, have you guys ever had a triple double out here on, um, on what is it, my team? Because I have never had a triple double. Um, I've had a couple of double doubles, you know, with people like uh, Dwight Howard, George Mershon, Tron Bradley. Mainly due to their size and how good they are inside, but... I've never had a triple-double, it's very difficult to get it in such a short period of time, but it would be crazy if we could. Doing badly here now, but man, i got to get Ricky Rubio going, here we go. Ricky Rubio, Ricky Rubio, lays it in! The man who has never dunked ever in a basketball game, or I don't think he can dunk. Pretty good player actually, doesn't need it, he's got the, he's got more, he's an assist man to be honest, that's all he does, he wants to get assists. You, and he wants to play good defense, but I, mean, I haven't watched much of I probably haven't watched any Minnesota actually this year. I've only watched them when they played the Rocket, which they lost against, obviously. Man, let's give him fucking Jeff Green all that space, the dunker. Jeff Green, ooh, bringing back the, the making sure these throwback jerseys are actually there to be used, because you know the Tracy McGrady and the Vince Carter, uh, they wore these jerseys as well. To Beal from three, ooh, Hiberto. Let's go! He's got his. Oh, he's already on ten rebounds. Can he get a, another two for another bucket? And then he is. If it, once he gets one more bucket, he's good. And he's got a lot of ways he can do that to you. Down the post, down um, down at the mid range, at the layup. He oh good block. Oh, he's like not today, sir. Not today. You're not getting in. Uh, what is George Hill thinking? <laughs> Trying to get past DeAndre Jordan, man. He's a big guy. He's gonna do. He's gonna destroy you easily. He's gonna have to pass out. And Demar for free. Splash. Let's go. Demar DeRozan, showing why he is the highest rated guy on this um on this lineup or in the um this sort of sapphire set. Uh, what you or whatever, but yeah, he's he's a good player, Demar Derozan. Great, great player. He's been playing. And there we go, Roy Hibberto. Let's go. Double, double, ten points and ten rebounds and three assists from Roy Hibbert. Good game, man. That A plus inside is just so deadly. And one Jordan, just never quitting on that board. Lovely. He, they don't call him man. He is his pure beast mode. He could have walked out with a double double if he if he played as well as he did in the second. And they let Darren Collison have four seconds of game time, and that's not gonna do much. So we won 1645 and ah didn't get it. Only got 700 VC uh, or MT. Uh, but good team, great great team. This is I liked it. I strongly suggest if you did all the collections to go and play with this team. Obviously you can know the lineup in your own way. Because obviously it's kind of difficult because there's multiple ways of doing it as there's no real like best and worst player. But these are my players I would strongly suggest using, obviously. Um, but obviously other players, if they started, they could have done better. Um, but the best player off the bench was Ricky Rubio, so I've got to give him props. Um, pretty much the entire starting lineup was just dominating. DeMar was good. Got points, rebounds, and assists. Good player and just good to play with. Roy Ebert, without a doubt, was the man of the match. Um, ten re double double. Got f got an assist, block, steal, just next to everything. Um, but the points response and he got a lot of points responsible. He was second in that, but uh, th that's pretty good. For getting second in points responsible. Uh, Isaiah Thomas had a good game, got a lot of assists. Was he topping it? I think he was topping assists. Yeah, he was topping assists. That was a good. He had a good game. Uh, then there was DeAndre John, obviously much better towards the end. Very deadly towards the end. Got, got some good buckets and good play. That re that block he got there. Uh, dang, maybe you wouldn't pick him up. He's not amazing. Chandler Parsons, mm, I didn't like him. Jeff Green, for his limited minutes, was pretty deadly, actually. Nick Patoom did not like him at all. 
Drew Holiday really didn't have much time playing with him, and he just got off the bench. Uh, Darren Collison, but Brooke Lopez was a disappointment, really. Only one rebound to contribute for seven minutes of game time. That's not good enough for Brooke Lopez, but uh, I strongly, th I hope you like this video. Um, I mean, we're not gonna rage you. This is the first. I, I this I saw this was the first time it was done. So if you could smash a like for for first to do this video, that would be great. So yeah, I've been your boy Rocket Rager. Please like, subscribe, and in a bit, guys.